Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, June 20th in the year of our Lord 2012. How are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome. Um, it's Happy Hump Day, that's right. And it's also time to unleash the beer of the day. Hey look at this. Homebrew Series Long Shot American Homebrew Contest. And this one is Five Crown Imperial Stout at 8.9% from Sam Adams. This guy, Joe Formanek, Form Form he's been developing this uh, Russian uh, Russian Imperial Stout for the past 15 years. It's got a uh, roast, roasty chocolate notes, hot bitterness to balance out the sweetness. It's a winter brew, and I'm drinking it. 93 degrees outside here in Yeehaw, Texas, where men and the men and the bulls run scared. You know what? I don't care because I'm in air conditioning. So let's bust this bad boy open, shall we? Still got the same old red lighter I've been using. It's almost empty, though. Oh, look at this. Would you look at this? Wow. Looks like motor oil, doesn't it? I bet my friend Justin Dimmitt would like this. Him being the avid Guinness man that he is. Mmm. Look at that. Wow. Powerful. Oh, man, can you taste the flavor in that? That, my friends, is what a Russian Imperial Stout is all about. This is absolutely fantastic. Got that slight chalkiness that a, a lot of beer, um, your supposed to beer drinkers out there, wouldn't go for it. Oh, it's too strong. Eh -eh. Mm. You have to savor the flavor, and that's what this guy does. That is that is spectacular. Alrighty, and of course that Denver Gold, nineteen ninety two. Sam Adams always winning those awards. Such as proof again, right there. All right, how about some birthdays? My friend Danielle Curtis, who I knew in jolly old England. A great lady living in North Dakota now big shout out to you also a shout out to your lesser half but still a great man Brian Curtis Brian Coitus uninterrupt us as I always like to call him just why not but Brian and Danielle Brian I hope you're taking care of your better half cooking her something special maybe you know wine and dining her it's her birthday after all take care of the woman it's what I do with mine every day. That's why I'm the love doctor. Yes, I am representing Marine Lodge, Falmouth, Massachusetts. My lodge. My friend Justin Dimmitt, I know, appreciates that. He probably appreciates that beer. Big shout out to him as always. He's a daily viewer and has been since January 17th when this show began. But Danielle, cheers and beers to you. And to you, Brian. Hope you guys are doing well. Miss working with you, Brian. Great man. Danielle, a great lady, and uh, hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list, ah, uh, Jerry Peterson, Pete, as we know him affectionately, worked with him in uh, jolly old England, and this guy is an animal, um, hard working, hard charging, fiery, yes he is, and nothing wrong with high energy because that's what this guy has, lots of energy, we will keep you going right there, buddy. Pete, you're a good man, and uh, hope you're doing well. I know I am. I know your um, Facebook page was gone for a while, but I'm glad it's back and uh, just in time because, see, now I can give you a shout-out and say, What's up, brother? And uh, hope you're having a wicked awesome birthday. I have to celebrate it for you if you didn't get a chance to celebrate because you're too busy working. So, happy birthday, my man. Uh, next on the list, a wonderful lady. A good friend of my wife, good friend of me, Dion Best. You're not the best. That would be my Feralicious Love Goddess, but you're pretty damn good. Dion, awesome lady, total sweetheart. Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, pleasure knowing you and Wendell and the kids. Your daughter Amber is Delilah's very best friend, and Delilah talks about her all the time. Yep, they're like sisters. 
So happy birthday to you. Wendell, I hope you're taking care of your better half. Cook her up something special. If not, maybe the kids are. Dion deserves a special day of relaxing. All right. And finally, my man, Eric Reed. I worked with this guy in England. He's living in North Carolina. And uh, hope you're doing well, my man. Always a pleasure hearing from you. You know, miss those days of working with you. You, you and your brother, cousin, lover, whatever he was. My man, Sean Moody. Good old Shauna and Erica, as I always affectionately called you guys. Now, truth be told, you guys were phenomenal to work with. I knew I can count on you to get anything done. And Eric, happy birthday, my friend. I hope you're having a wicked awesome day. I know I am. All right, so cheers and beers to you, my brother. You know how much I love my beer, and this one is definitely a good one. I just hope Sam Adams will make it more often. If Joe's willing to sell the recipe. Come on, Joe. Hook him up. There you go. This guy can definitely brew some beer. All right. Someday I will brew my own as well. Now, today is a very special day. It was 88 years ago today that two legends were born. This is your random fact of the day. June 20th, 1924. The late, great Chet Atkins was born. Now, he was a phenomenal, phenomenal country predominantly guitarist <clears throat> brought about the uh, Nashville sound the Nashville smoother country sound let's make a wail on some guitar Chet Atkins if you're not familiar with him look him up A-T-K-I-N-S Chet easy C-H-E-T Chet Atkins phenomenal stuff hell of an instrumentalist hell of a country man awesome stuff but there was a no person that was born June 20th in 1924 and I know her personally I did now Chet Atkins passed away I want to say June 30th 2011 or 2001 excuse me he was 77 years old now my grandmother passed away a year ago March 8th 2011 my grandma Kitty Kitty Baker my father's mother and she was born um, June 20th 1924 she lived to be almost 87, a great lady, and I miss you, Grandma Kitty. Now, she had her own cooking show on the radio in the 50s, and I really, my wife wants her recipes big time. My grandmother could cook like nobody's business. It was amazing what that woman could do. Um, very well known in the town of Falmouth, Massachusetts. In fact, she was so well known, even Ted Kennedy, the late great Senator Ted Kennedy, endorsed my Grandma Kitty. With her um, chatterbox column that she wrote that she wrote for the Cape Cod Times for over, she wrote that for over forty years, nearly fifty years, and uh, she was with the Cape Cod Times, the biggest newspaper on Cape Cod. <clears throat> and uh, Grandma Kitty just wants you to know I love you, I miss you, a great lady indeed. But uh, shout out to you, no doubt about it. All right. Now, how about some additional shout-outs? No relation to the Curtises, but my friend Chris Curtis, an awesome guy, who I got to work with in jolly old Japan. A great man. What's going on, brother? We're always talking music and stuff. Great guy. Loves death metal. Nothing wrong with death metal. I like it myself, and I like it a lot. But uh, hope you're doing well. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Definitely a great man. But, uh, so big shout out, my man. Hope you're doing well and hope you enjoy the show. Next on the list, I don't know why I did not give my former um, posse member from Japan the honorable, she's listed as Susie, Susie B. Anthony, Susan Bonner, as my boy Frank Basil and I would call jokingly Bull Dyke Bonner. No, she doesn't swing that way. Not that I'm aware of anyway, but if she does, hey, so be it. Susan, what's going on, sister? Hope you're doing well. Hope life's treating you well. Awesome lady. Awesome friend. Truly blessed. And great people like her. I wish we were around more often. Susan, cheers and beers to you. Hope you're having a wicked awesome day. And let me know what you think of the show. Man, I miss working with you. You, Frank, and I were the trifecta of terror 
in Japan working together, making things happen, killing commies for mommy, listening to George Carlin, great stuff, and teaching you and Frank about real music, too, of course, you know, we had to do that. All right, next on the list, my friend Jeff Hoppy Hopkins. A big shout out to you. Why? Why not? Because you're a great guy, and it's always great chatting with you. And a diehard Denver Nuggets fan, diehard Denver Broncos fan, diehard Colorado Avalanche fan, diehard Colorado Rockies fan. A true Colorado man, indeed, who is like me, diehard sports fans. Diehard, we are diehard sports fans, and we love our team and root for them through thick and thin. So, Hoppy, big respect to you for that. And you know what? That's what we do, brother. That's right. So hope you're doing well, and hope you enjoy the show. Hope I get to meet you in person someday, too. Yes, I have not met Hoppy before in person. Someday I will. He's just too cool to not. Uh, next on the list, <clears throat> these two ladies I worked with in Japan, they were my comical nav cousins although taylor gannon became an honorary gnc posse member for life and uh you're still all right taylor and hope you're doing well she always had a smile on her face still does total sweetheart and the other lady that she worked with i knew her sandy hopkins sandy Hart, another total sweetheart sweetheart sandy Hart. nice huh yeah that's right that's what the love doctor says hey there you go Hope you two ladies are doing well. You're both absolutely beautiful. Both total sweethearts. You know, we need more people like you in the world. We do. I wish we had more. You're the type of people that need to breed. Not these schmucks out there. Like the lady I ran across yesterday talking on a cell phone. And um, then a car alarm went off while she was pumping gas. Now that's intelligent, huh? Living proof of what happens when people do the dirty deed that are related before they get married. Yes. Living proof of what happens when cousins do the dirty deed. See, I kind of screwed that up. Whoops. All right. Anyway, enough said. How about the license plate of the day? Massachusetts, great state in the nation. I may have had this one on the show before. I don't remember. Why not put it on again? I think I'm running out of license plates, to be honest with you, folks. And I think what I'm going to do is... On my birthday, seven days from today, don't forget, June 27th is my birthday. I think I'm going to come out with a new feature on my show. We will uh, disable the license plate one, and we will bring out something different. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Trust me. Can you say... I'll unleash it now, and let me. I want to know what you guys think of this, and ladies, and it's. How about the uh, viewing material of the day? In other words, what I'm looking at is either a movie, the movie of the day, or a TV episode of the day. Like case in point, I have 156 episodes of Twilight Zone, every single one of them, the whole five seasons, and it will give me a lot. It will give me a lot of um, ability to be able to. For the next few years, I'll be able to occupy a different movie or TV episode or even show. <clears throat> Squeeze me. I'll be able to do that every day. And I mean, Farrah and I have over a thousand movies, so plenty of stuff. I can just give a quick synopsis of the movie, check it out, read up on it. You know, if you've seen it before, let me know you think of it. If not, or tell me it sucks or it's wicked awesome. Whatever you think. Okay, I think it's going to be a fun feature, and uh, let me know what you think. Movie and uh, movie and or uh, TV show of the day, or episode, something like that. Hmm. There's 190 short episodes of Three Stooges done by Columbia from 1934 to 58 that I can sift through. A lot of good stuff there. Alrighty. Now, it is time for the song of the day. I was listening to it yesterday and thinking, man... I, didn't, I wasn't going to do two rhythm and blues songs in a row, but I cannot resist it. I've been wanting to play this one. I don't remember if I have played this one or not. I don't think I have. If I have, it was a few months back, so it won't make a difference anyway. But the amazing song is the original version of Rock the Joint by Jimmy Preston and his Prestonians from 1949. Recorded May 1949. 
this is what true rhythm and blues is all about right here. And if you don't like this one, I think there's something wrong with you folks. Now, Bill Haley and his comics did a version of Rock the Joint in 1952. That was definitely an early forerunner to rock and roll as well. <clears throat> This is what true rhythm and blues is all about. Now I'm hoping, right now my uh, screen is choppy. I hope my video is not choppy. Right now, internet's a little slow, I'm concerned. I've actually got a modern version of this song. I want to say by the Mighty Blue Kings, 1995. It's called Rock This Joint Tonight. Uh-oh. That's not good. That can... It's pissing me off. Internet connection is really garbage right now. Typical sudden link. You're not connected. There's got to be something running in the background on my computer right now, and I'm not happy. Such is life with typical technical difficulties that I get on the uh, Beer and Song of the Day show. So folks, I do have the luck of a murder with electronic devices. I've just given up on getting pissed off about it all the time. I've learned to accept it and say, you know what, forget about it. I have the luck of a murder victim with electronic devices. Thank God I don't have the luck of a murder victim with having a good woman. Good boy, if I got that. And I'll take my love goddess and my daughter away from you. Alright? This is really sucking. I, I, I'm just stupefied right now. Now, Jimmy, Pres Jimmy Preston was born in 1918, died in 1993. 1983, excuse me, 65 years old, cancer I believe he had, a great song that would have been greater if it was a nice smooth running version of it, man, unbelievable, I cannot believe that just happened, well, it's the way it goes folks, oh by the way, guess what's for dinner tonight, one of my all time favorites, Chilaquiles. If you don't know what that is, then here's what it is. You take the dry New Mexico chili pods and make the sauce out of them, okay? You do that, and then you take a package of 10 corn tortillas and chop them up in the squares and fry them, all right? Then you take the fried tortilla squares and pour the red sauce all over them. And then throw mountains of um, Monterey Jack cheese. And there is your simple, phenomenal chilaquiles. Now, Farrah likes to throw onions on hers. <sighs> ah, can't do it. But uh, it is an absolutely phenomenal dish. It's, it's almost like having a, a fried version of... Um, kind of a fried version of cheese enchiladas, okay? Absolutely stunningly amazing. Alright, folks. Delilah's having fun at the water park today. So, she's not going to get home for another few hours. So, it's just the love goddess and I. So, we're going to have dinner and then... Yeah. I hope so. So, folks. It is time to make like a fetus and head out. So, everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive. You might spill your drink. Or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for scumbags like Eli. Oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. Manning. Or men slapping women. Things like that are just plain stupid. And sadly, the Miami Heat won last night. They're up three games to one. What are you going to do? I think LeBron's going to actually win his first championship. 
He waited long enough for it. It's just too bad I would have liked to see the Oklahoma City Thunder beat them. But looks like the heater for real, unfortunately. So the way it goes. It could be worse. It could be the Lakers, right? I don't hate the heat as much as the Lakers, but they're not far behind. All right, folks, I'm out of here. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Sorry about the music.